we're going to be taking a look at modifiers, which is a fancy expression, uh, but you'll see as we go through that many of these are already familiar to you. All that we're doing is adding the technical terms to the things that we're going to use. And what they're doing is adding definition to the language. English, after all, is the most descriptive language. So, simply put, modifiers are words, phrases or clauses that function to describe other words, phrases and clauses. And they fall into these five groups. Noun phrase modifiers, adjective phrase modifiers, verb phrase modifiers, adverb phrase modifiers and simple adverbials. Noun phrase modifier. Don't be frightened of the expression. Noun phrase modifiers. These words or phrases or clauses describe a noun or a noun phrase. They usually go before because it's English. So a soup pan burned my kitchen table. We're using a noun to further modify another noun. A noun noun collocation. Football player, tennis racket, other examples of these. They also modify adjective phrases. The angry man ran over the red toy. These are very common, you know these already. Adjectives that sit before nouns. Prepositional phrases. The child in the jumper broke the vase on the table. Prepositional phrases because they begin with prepositions. Verb phrases. The cake to mix is next to the frying pan. To mix is an infinitive and frying is a gerund. Relative clauses. The man who lives upstairs kicked the cat that the dog bit. Who lives upstairs and that the dog bit are relative clauses modifying nouns. Fancy expressions but simple in use. Adjective phrase modifiers. So these are words, phrases or clauses that describe an adjective or adjective phrase. First of all, adverb phrases. Some of the much older students are rather strange characters and the extremely odd scientist likes his very weird assistant. We've already got adjectives. You know, strange, odd, weird, or even a comparative adjective like older. The words in red are modifying those. Prepositional phrases again. The floor wet near the drains is also moldy along the floorboard. They begin with prepositions and modifying an adjective. Adjective phrase modifiers. And now verb phrase modifiers. These are words or phrases that describe a verb or a verb phrase. Students must write legibly on exams. And some idiot drove incredibly quickly near the school more definition all the time even if you don't know the expression verb phrase modifier you've used them you've used them already adverb phrase modifiers these describe an adverb or an adverb phrase the thief broke into the house quite quietly my grandfather, my grandmother worked wonderfully slowly on her rose garden. Not just slowly, wonderfully slowly. We are adding more depth, more meaning every single time we use these. And finally, adverbials. These are words, phrases or clauses that modify an entire clause 
by providing additional information about time, place, manner, condition, purpose, reason, result, concession. I studied my notes carefully. The road is closed due to the storm raging. We're modifying adverb phrases and adverb clauses in those cases. Prepositional phrases. After the fight, the boxer retired. Noun phrases. She flies to London tonight. And verb phrases. To improve my English, I went to London. Using simple adverbials. So that's it. The names are very complicated, but that's the job that they're doing, modifying other words, phrases and clauses. And as long as you remember that, and as long as you remember the five groups and use them to add more texture to your language, you won't make a mistake. Keep practicing, get it wrong at first, but eventually you'll get it right.